go ahead and take this province. And then we'll go kill them again. By then it might be time to go uh, stomp some rebels. Two point eight years. Oh, their their progress chance is not actually that high. Yeah, if we could control the entire Persian Gulf, that would be amazing. Oh, we should have helped our friends with the naval battle. Conversion successful. All right. Har is our next target. We're above 60% religious unity for maybe the first time ever. Okay, so if we take Laristan, we're either committing to staying here for the rest of the war or taking the fort of Darab. So that's a consideration to think about. Where are the Sindhis? Okay, they're on their way. I don't know why it's taking them so long. Oh, they're, they didn't call their other ally in, did they? Or their other ally didn't join in? I thought they were allied with someone else besides. So we'll leave this whole area, we'll leave this whole Karaman area to the Sindhis. Looks like we'll have to split in half to not take attrition here. Recruit a conquistador, maybe. You're gonna need one of those eventually. Yeah, how is how's our exploration fleet doing, by the way? Okay, they're just taking a long time to discover Australia. A free diplomat should probably be doing something at least. Okay, so there is the Farce army there. They're getting out of here, so. Not too worried about that. Okay, so do we have to control all forts? This is something that'll be interesting because I've never actually tested this before. We have to control all of the forts near a province. Okay, we just need to be sieging one fort next to a province in order for it to not automatically flip back. That is good to know. That is some, uh, that is some rule of, uh, zone of control minutia that I was not aware of. What does this symbol mean? Oh, did they take... Did they take all the... Oh, they, they won their other war. That's what happened. Okay, so we're not actually so concerned about this right now. We'll just see. Wherever they decide to attack us, we'll... We'll deal with it. They're losing their land. So who's this now? Did they make them release? These guys should be our vassals. We want to annex them. Okay, so Sind should be able to help us at this point if we get into trouble. They're close enough. Oh, these guys are going to need to go around. Shoot. I don't know 
hope they're going to get there in time. That wasn't good. I did not realize that would be the outcome of that. Okay, we won the battle. So let's go, let's just go occupy this easy, easy pick and stuff. If that's where they're going to retreat to, I'll laugh. No, they're going to retreat to their allies' territory, probably. From the looks of things... You better give us that shit if you occupy it. Okay, cool. They have no designs on the Shiraz region. Our explorers got back at some point here. Uh, explore the coast of the Southwest Pacific. Should be stacking up some prestige by discovering provinces here. Disinherit our other terrible air. Poor quality copper. Oh. Can't have that. Okay. Actually, I want you guys to go to Laristan. So we're winning this war pretty effectively. Thank you. Go. Run, run, run. They are trying to chase us down. Green Hills of Gundit. Yumara. The natives of Gundit Yumara, I don't think there were any natives. If I recall, there were zero natives. Native population of zero. The non existent people in this province were enthralled by the glass beads, brass bells, and cloth our explorers traded for fresh fish and venison. And their report to the ship's crew to us, the ship's crew spoke about that there was very little wealth among the people and they seemed peaceful. Some events troubled them as the villagers for some reason desired their homes one night and left the village to be explored by members of the expedition. Nothing much was found, only a small rattle made of gold buried among the fishing nets bore witness. Okay, cool. So the non the non-existent natives in that province have uh, become less aggressive. Okay. Let's go smack these guys down. They're running away, so instead we'll just take their province. Darab is about to fall. I'm really surprised we haven't had a rebellion yet. Those guys have been on the brink of rebellion for a long time. The Menace from Rabaul. After a rather turbulent beginning with the natives of Rabaul, we finally managed to convince them of our good intentions. As we made land... Oh, okay, so this might be provinces that we're exploring, not the one we're colonizing. That's what it is. Okay, so we did... We, we did. We're, we're dealing with some, like, Torres Strait slash Indonesian natives here. After a rather turbulent beginning with the natives of Rebel, we finally managed to convince them of our good intentions. As we made landfall, two men, one old and one young, approached our ship. They were not interested in our gifts, and when a musket was fired over their heads to make them back away, it wounded the older man slightly. He ran to the huts and brought men who threw spears at our crew until they were chased off after two more rounds were fired. The adults fled into the woods, leaving the children behind. Some small trinkets and beads were left behind with the children as a gesture of friendship, before the expedition members retreated to the ship. Um, if they return, kill them. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're, we have exactly as many military leaders as we need, so... It's going to be a little bit of bloody battle, I think, just because of the terrain. It's actually really shitty terrain for us. Advancement of the Ulema, cool, fine. No, don't let the reinforcements get there. Yeah, this is going to be a grinding battle. Oh shit, we're, are we going to get stack wiped while we're on the brink of rebellion? All right, get get out of there. We're gonna harsh treat these guys because we wouldn't be able to deal with them if they rose up now. And we got stack wiped. Fantastic. All right, uh, Sind, you are kind of on your own at this point. <laughs> we're gonna save our yeah. We're gonna save our points to. Uh, Get the printing press. Well, at least we're not in manpower debt anymore. Anytime you guys are done with that siege would be great. Cool. We are gaining ticking war score from controlling bomb subjects have high liberty desire all right well we should at least build some some units <laughs> we at least need to have some units exploration of the southwest pacific coast is completed um, i would now like you to explore the uh let's explore the south atlantic why not if sind had ever helped us in any battle i think we could have uh had some good success with that All right. At least might be wearing them down here. Begin the slow process of building back up to our force limit. Artabil separatists are just wandering around doing their thing. Okay, I think Sind has this. I think they've got this. I just hope that, let's see, regulation of the medical profession. Um, medical evolution till 1557. So it's one extra year. Oh, and it's for the whole area. I'd rather have the admin power right now, honestly. We need to get that printing press. And of course, Sind is trying to siege down Shiraz instead of doing anything remotely useful. So we, yeah, we'll just hang out here for now. At least our vassals are doing something useful. Well, I guess they're actually getting themselves stack wiped, but, you know, they tried. <laughs> Pardon me. It's the effort that counts. Casey, you can't dig there. That's a bed. Casey believes that she can dig in the bed. In fact, she cannot because it is not dirt, it is a bed. Okay. 
make sure we got our good general here. Yay, trading provinces. I guess. Okay, well, they distracted him, so that's cool. Uh, we want to tech up before we spend any more I on ideas. And actually, we want to save our power for printing press anyway. Skills of the Sultana. I like it. That is a, that is a very good event. All right. End of internal conflicts in Hungary. Producing more incense. Have we had a league war yet? Not yet. My vassals are losing more men. Okay, we might actually need to intervene here. So I'm going to build one cannon and some horses. Because this could be the final battle against Farce here. This is a little dangerous. I wish I could get a pop-up for when I can develop my province again. <laughs> that would be actually useful. Cool, it's over. Um, so, farce. Sindos is 20 favors. Uh, they ceded a lot of stuff to us, actually. Yeah, holy crap. They ceded an entire area to us. That's nice. That's about as good as we could have expected to get out of that. And are any of them Sunni? No, they are not! They are all Shia provinces. So our religious unity has gone uh, back down to 58. Uh, oh well. Say farce is no longer a valid rival for us, so we're gonna have to fix that. Vijayanagar would be a nice rival because we're gonna have to take some land off of them. Coruscant, not really worried about it. Yeah, we're gonna go with Vijayanagar, and I think we can start annexing one of our vassals now. Now oh, one more, one more year. Um, I'm going to allow him to go where his heart desires. Um, you guys might as well be drilling. We need some extra cavalry and some extra artillery when we get the chance. Back up to speed five. Uh, we are not going to import any foreign wood. Our own wood is quite good enough. Protests in Ebra. As a men of great spiritual strength, but also firmly part of the establishment, members of the Ulema sometimes choose to join social protests. A recent altercation between the local garrison and the urban population in Ebra have att attracted the attention of prominent Mufti in the state of Oman. Our local commander fears the situation might escalate unless we listen to the protesters, but doing so would come at a cost. Um... 
tax modifier, manpower modifier, or local unrest. Yeah, let's compensate the people. Let's compensate the people of Basra. And we have the Sultana Regency. And we're going to end up with this asshole <laughs> as our king. At least we'll get some, uh, some good, uh, some good, uh, stuff happening while the Sultana's in charge. Maybe she can just be in power forever. Continue the royal marriage with the Mamelukes. Awesome. Slowly chipping away at our religious unity problem. Uh, Mogistan would be the next logical target. Finished exploring the South Atlantic. Nice. Um, I'd like you guys to now explore the coast of the South Atlantic. Oh, I think we have enough money to upgrade our main trade fleet, too. Caravels. Protect trade. Probably keep them in the Gulf of Aden. Nice. All right. So we're slowly rebuilding our army. Make sure we get up to at least 12 infantry. So we can develop this province. Grand Banks Fisheries. Is that going to do anything to us? Eh, barely anything. Saving up that military power. Actually, let's go ahead and start spending it. Forest no longer considers Gilkadir's arrival. Good for them. Oh, and there's the Portuguese. They've already started colonizing shit. So we might want to shut down some of these islands to get them to back off. They will probably become a rival of ours if they're headed this way. All right. Um, you guys, I want you to explore... The uh, South China Sea, if you would. Ashikaga and Yamana are the two remaining major dynasties in China, it looks like. How is this colony going along? We do want to add that to a trade company, by the way. With lots of powerful trade companies. There should be a stable government, but eh. <laughs> Lost a general. You know what, we'll keep him here for now, just to save the mill power. Finished exploring the South China Sea. How about you explore the coast of the South China Sea? So we almost control the entire Persian Gulf. This is the only way merchants can get to the Gulf, in or out of the Gulf, without dealing with us. Is through uh, Mushasha, which... Honestly, we should just annex them. Do they have cores over here? Yeah, so. We'll have to do it the uh, the war way. Annex these bastards. 
Are any of those provinces Sunni? Yes, we're going to get three Sunni provinces. We'll do wonders. Wonders for our... Uh... Farsi separatists. Oh, yeah, because we're still coring all that shit. Well, let's uh, let's build up one, two, three, four. We want some more cavalry. We're gonna want some more cannon. You guys, I want you to explore the East China Sea coast. <laughs> 